Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV, it's me Paul Neal and I'm here to discuss Jake O'Brien and his transfer from Olympic Lyonnais to Everton Football Club. This is off the back of a really good season for Jake O'Brien, the 6 foot 6 defender, played 27 games for Lyon and scored 4 goals and got them to, or helped them to a cup final as well, they obviously lost but he scored in the cup final too, a uh, superb header and he had a really breakthrough season in Ligue 1 with the French club and look he came into the team at a time where they were struggling and they were down near the bottom of the table and their, fan, their fans were demanding a lot more of them at that stage Jake wasn't actually in the starting team but he came into the starting team and really embraced the environment and really embraced the chance to get himself into the team and he probably broke through a bit quicker than people probably expected him to and he quickly became a leader for Leon and I think this is a good move for him and for Everton that Seamus Coleman played a key part in getting him to the Toffees uh, but it will be a tough task for him to break into that team with uh, Jared Brantway and James Tarkovsky as the centre-half partnership I mean they had uh, I think it was the fourth best defensive record in the Premier League last season and they largely played uh, a huge amount of games so unless something happens to them it'll be hard for Jake to just break into the team but when he does get his chance he will need to take it and uh, you know Everton will be hoping that they can keep all three of them fit for the majority of the season but for Jake I think his target should be trying to break into that Everton starting team um, before January I think I think that should be what he should be aiming for if, if there's a cup game and he gets to take his chance that he should look to try and take his chance and it, it won't be easy for me i look at this um a, a transfer and kind of go well why is he going somewhere to be maybe a third choice center half when he could go to a forest ajax or or wolves um ever a very family club i think seamus coleman obviously being there will help him settle and i think that that could be key uh, in the longer run is someone having someone like seamus coleman in your corner who will keep you going through the the bad days and the good days and I think having him there will be huge I think Sean Dyche will uh, improve Jake O'Brien as a defender he's definitely done that with Jared Brantwaite and you look at all the interest that he's gathering at the moment it's a five-year deal for Jake as well and he looks as though then um if he if he does well he could go on for uh, more money be sold for more money which seems to be the model now with Everton is that they're trying to bring through young players and sell them on like they did similarly with uh, Amadou Onana just recently gone to Aston Villa haven't signed him two years ago brought him in didn't really work out that move but um, you get what I'm saying is is, is though this one could either be he could be a mainstay at Everton and, and grow with Everton as they move into the Bramley Moore Stadium next season and he could be a mainstay in that but I do foresee if he if he continues on the trajectory that he was going on in Leon that he could be a future Everton and Ireland captain just because basically he's a leader on the pitch and um, he's not afraid to let other people know when they're not doing their job and he's not allowed to be messed with he's six foot six he used to be uh, a boxer he, he has that pedigree about him he played a bit of ga as well so you know he's a big physical presence uh, as well as obviously um he can play football as well, well out from the back but i do think that this one is going to be an interesting move another player in the premier league he obviously didn't get his chance with crystal palace there seems to be from an everton point of view a, a little bit of a worry about his pace but there's, there's nothing really wrong he's not slow i think people were saying on the turn he can be caught a little bit but i think with sean Dyche there i think he'll really improve him as a defender like he's done james tarkovsky jared brantwaite and other defenders that he's worked with in the past i think sean Dyche is just really good and his staff are really good like that uh, in improving players in those types of areas so i think look i think it's a really good move for all parties i'd love to know what the general irish public think so let us know what you think in the comments. Um, yeah, I won't go on any further. Let us know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to you all soon. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Talk to you later.